Hello guys, I'm back with another build review. This build is called the uh, MQ Stacks build and it's um available in the Aries Wizard. Let me show you real quick what it looked like and how you can install it. Alright, here we have our movie section. In the widget we have our movies our most popular. Alright, you press up to get out of the widget. And then to the left, we have our shortcuts to our movies category and the add-ons. Alright, next we have our TV shows. And this is um, TV shows on the air. Hit up to get out of there and to the left. We have our shortcuts to our TV shows category and our add-ons. Alright. And um, let's go back on the top. When you click on movies. It takes you to the Exodus um, movie section. And when you click on TV shows, it takes you to the Exodus TV show section. Alright. Next we have our hub. And um, to the left, we have our movie sets, our movies, our movies library, our TV shows library, and TV show next aired. Alright. And these you populate yourself by using the movie database the extended info mod all right I'm gonna show you how to do that also all right this is the movies I just added just for to show you on the um, on the video all right so like I said those are what you populate yourself you, you know your own movies your own TV shows and this is um our next aired um add-on so the TV shows that you add it will populate right here so you won't miss a show on the top it tells you when the episode is coming up next so as you can see on Saturday next Saturday we have um Doctor is that Doctor Who all right, and for the widget, this is for our movie set. So I only created one set, and that's the John Wick. All right, so let me show you how to populate that. If you don't know already, you would go into the hub. All right, you go into all movies. All right, now let's look for a, a movie that got a set to it. Right the set to it let's go to guardians of the galaxy click on that all right so you want to scroll to the bottom as you can see is a set right here so I hit the context button or long press button for this menu to pop up and then you add to library all right slide over and I do the same thing for this one I add to library. All right, while I'm at it, I'm gonna add a TV show. I'll slide all the way to the left and I click on it once and then go back to the right. I'm gonna add um, anyone. I'm gonna add American Gods. Hit the context button, a long press. And then add to library. All right, let's get out of there. All right, now as you can see for the widget, the Guardians of the Galaxy popped up. And this is what we added. And when you click on it, as you can see, you have to set right here. Okay, you can play it straight from here. You click on it. 
and this menu will pop up and you could choose one of these add-ons to play the movie from all right now if you don't know bubbles you could add a rail the braid account and um you could shorten the search time when it search for sources you could shorten it all right you just have to go to the add-on and hit your context button and go to settings and set it up okay same thing with Flix Next. Alright, so basically, yeah, you choose one of these that you want to play the movie from. Alright. Now let's slide back to the left. I'll show you the TV shows. Is the TV show we just added. If you want to know the information, you long press or hit the context button and um, click on information. All right. Get out of there. Next we have our sports. Our TV show slash sports. When you click on it, you have a list of sports um, categories right here that you go into. You have your live channels. You have your football, team strips. All right. And the... Uh, Sub menu, you have um, FTFA TV, Falcon TV, Supremacy TV, at the Flix TV, Maverick TV, and Sports Devil. All right, here we have our family section. In our widget, we have um, this is Disney movies. All right, when you scroll all the way to the left and you come back on this side, you'll find the newer movies. Opposed to going to the right, because it starts from older movies and then it goes to the newer movies. So what you want to do is you just go keep clicking on the left when you're in the widget and it goes around and you'll see the newer ones all right you hit up to get out of there and when you click on family and here you have some more Disney movies get out of there in the sub menu, we have a Disney collection, kids movies, and family shows. All right, here we have our movie. Uh, excuse me, our music category, and this is um top one hundred. Let me show you. Let me click on it. I turned the, um, the volume down so you won't be able to hear it. It's actually playing right now. Let me back out. It doesn't have the artist um, image. Let me go to the next one. Oh, no, let's fast forward. Next. And um, in our sub menu, we have Beats, Django, Karma, Top 40 Charts. It's our programs. It's our weather information. If you want to put your weather on here, this is how it looks. 
in our settings and back to movies now you could change how the home screen look in your settings you could just go into settings skin settings and on the top where it says main menu you'll slide over to the right and you could change it from vertical mode to horizontal as you can see on the bottom let me show you If you like this layout better, just to show you, you could switch to it. All right, and you can also put the the menu bar back just go back into settings skin settings and main menu go to the right and then you'll scroll to the bottom where it says change the menu bar color you click on that you hit up all the way up to where it says colors I click on that I, I usually use material design colors all right, and then you hit down. I'm going to use red. And then hit save. All right, so you have that red line back on the bottom. I'm going to go to settings, skin settings, and you can also put it back into vertical mode. Alright, so um, let me show you how to install this. And um, let me switch the skin so you know you'll get an idea on how to install it so you won't get confused. I'm going to change the skin back to the estuary skin. Alright, so you'll be on your home screen. <clears throat> you go to the gear icon and then you'll go to file manager and you will go to add source and click on none and you would add the source so the source that you'll put in there it's it'll the link will be in the description also all right this is the source that you'll put in the um add source section All right, after that, I've named it Aries. You can name it whatever you wish and then hit okay. And then you'll back out and then go to add on and then go to the top left to the open box. Click on that and then you'll scroll down to install from zip file. I've named it Aries. You should navigate to whatever you named it. You click on that click on that again and then you'll install it alright I already have that installed so for you you're gonna have to wait for a notification to come on top alright so once that's done you'll go to install from repository click on that and you'll go to the Aries wizard program add-ons and then install the Aries wizard All right, so once you get that notification, you'll back out to this screen and then you scroll down to program add-ons and then you go to the Aries wizard. And you, you know, just be patient, it'll pop up. Give it a couple of seconds.
All right. So you see, I haven't done a fresh stall yet. So what I would do is I'll go all the way to where it says more. Or you could go to builds and do a fresh start. I'll go to more. And I'll scroll down to erase all data, fresh start. Click on that. This will remove all add-ons ECT from Cody. Are you sure? Yes. Proceed. Now keep in mind this build is it's a heavy build. I already started working on one for fire stick. It'll be lighter. It wouldn't have as much add-ons as this has, but it'll have the add-ons that you know you probably normally use for movies and TV shows. And I'll upload that in a little while later on today. Okay, so it's done doing a fresh start and you would want to force close Cody. Okay, so once it's full close, you go back into Cody. All right. You'll go down to add-ons and certain devices. You won't see the program, um, excuse me, the Aries wizard on there. It's gone. So once you go to add-on, you'll go to my add-ons. Scroll down to program add-ons. And there go your Aries wizard. And you want to enable it. And then open it. All right, and now you'll go into browse builds and then scroll down and look for Steven. Should be right here. And then um, you click on it. And you scroll down and this particular build it's called MQ Stacks. It's like I said, guys, it's a heavy build. So it's not meant for smaller devices. And um, keep in mind, I'm um, I'm working on a, the, uh, a build for a fire stick. All right, so this particular build is right here, MQ Stacks. The background hasn't changed yet. So don't worry about that as long as you get the name. It says MQ Stacks. You click on it. And then you'll hit install. And then hit proceed. So it was no need for us to um, do a fresh start. Because we done that in the beginning. As you can see guys it's a heavy build. If you want a lighter, a lighter build that, you know, is the same as this one. Like I said, I'll be uploading it um, later on today. I already started working on it. And also, guys, I, I can't stress it enough. When you do a fresh start, make sure you foreclose your Cody. And then go back in and install the build. Because sometimes, or maybe it's just Aries Wizard, but I know sometimes it happened to me also. When I install, when I do a fresh start and then I install a build, nothing shows up. But when you go look for the add-ons and stuff, they're, they're there. But they turned off just like how the Aries Wizard was. And it was turned off. So... It's always good to do a fresh start, foreclosure Cody, and go back into it. I mean, if you have another another 
program that, you know, you could do a fresh start from. You can do that also. You don't have to use Aries Wizard. But keep note that later on you do have to type in the source just to get the Aries Wizard again after you do a fresh start from whatever program or whatever, you know, utility you can use. Cause I know some builds already come with, you know, certain maintenance tools that has a fresh start on it. And also, guys, I know what a couple of days ago, it was yesterday or the day before yesterday, there was problems downloading my builds. I might be changing um service soon. That's the 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 host I'm using is not really good. The speeds after a while get low to download. So I'll be changing that soon so you know there won't be any problems. And also guys, thank you for subscribing and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. It means a lot. It really do. Alright, so now is extracting the files. And it's almost done. You guys can skip ahead if you wish. Or just, you know, bear with me. Like I said, it's a big build. It takes a little longer than usual. <clears throat> All right. So now it's, instead of just exiting or closing Cody, just wait for the dialog boxes to pop up. All right. So what you want to do now is just click no. Click no again. It says code Cody need to be closed. Press OK. All right. So now... We'll go right back into Cody. You just want to keep it on the screen for a couple of seconds. You know, a minute or two or whatever. Just so it could do its thing in the background. You don't want to go ahead and just start clicking on buttons and moving around. It'll slow, you know... It'll slow your device down from whatever it's trying to do. So just be patient and let us do its thing. Alright. 
Oh, actually it's not done scanning. Okay, it's one thing I forgot to show you guys. It's where to where your file manager is located on here. It's on the settings when you go to the sub menu. Here you have your program add-ons, your video add-ons, your music add-ons. Here's your file manager. Takes you straight to the file manager section to add your source. And your add-ons that takes you to install from zip file. There you have it guys. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new and you're watching my videos. You like what you see. Just subscribe and hit the bell. So you can be notified for new videos. I always. I try to post videos. You know whenever I can. Or builds. You know whenever I make one. And um. Yeah I. Uh, Talk to you guys next time. All right.